this Sunday. You don't want to miss it. The worship goes live at 10 a.m. And then, of course, you get an opportunity uh, to lock in with us as we teach that second word in the acronym of the word possible, the letter O, again, which stands for overcome. I'll talk a little bit about that today. And then third and finally, I want to encourage you to, if you have not already, for those of you who know and may not know, Genesis 2.20 conference is 30 days from today. So from this day, September 1st to the 30th of this month is the kickoff. September 30th, Friday night, you do not want to miss. Many of you have already registered, married and singles. We have others that are going to be joining us. We want you to register today. You say, Pastor Brian, how do I do that? Very simple. Go on our app or our website at ourrecreationchurch.org, and you can click that button of the logo of the Thrive Conference with Pastor Shannon now on it. It'll take you to a real quick doc where you can fill that out in 60 seconds, get registered, secure your payment, and you are set. You got a seat in the room. We're expecting a capacity crowd on that night. The whole conference weekend is gonna be at the Wesley, 1196 South Lincoln Street. It's gonna be a weekend like no other. We're gonna kick off Friday night with a taco bar, fun food fellowship, and then go into our session together. Saturday has three sessions, a men's session, a women's session, and a joint session together. And then of course the weekend is gonna conclude on Sunday, October the 2nd for our Recreation Church servers where I'll be concluding the conference and teaching on that word thrive. It's gonna be a game changer. For those of you who can't make it physically, we would love for you to connect with us on the Friday night piece. We're offering a Friday night uh, a live private opportunity for you to watch and be a part of the two hour experience. We would love for you to do that. It's simply $20 to do it for the whole conference. It's $75 per couple, $40 for singles, and then the Friday night only private stream or link that you'll have access to will give you access to join us for Friday night. $20 bucks for couple or individual. If you want to participate with that, let us know. We'll be glad to get you set up. You can find that information as well right there on our website and app. All right? Again, a lot of exciting things going on. I hope you're doing well today. Shout out to all of our RC members. Shout out to all of our virtual fam. We have so many connecting uh, tissue, if you will, connecting ways <clears throat> for us as a body to join together. One of those, of course, is uh, RC Fit. RC Fit is, is our health and wellness initiative uh, that we partner together with one another uh, to live well, uh, to maximize our health and wholeness experience. We have men's ministries, women's ministries that are also a part of our connection. But this is face-to-face, -face, and I want to encourage you today, wherever you may be, this is a transitional season. Know this about your God today. As natural seasons change, so do spiritual seasons. God is not obligated or bound to natural season transition, but he is obligated to transition us according to his word. And he clearly says that is from faith to faith, from grace to grace, and from glory to glory. I'm gonna say that again for the note takers. Listen, your God wants to transition you. Transition with God. In some cases, it will feel lateral, but there's always a perpetual increase in your relationship with the Lord. He desires to elevate you. He desires to increase you. He desires to take you into these aspects. Again, they are faith to faith, grace to grace, and glory to glory. I believe personally, these are three manifestations of the Godhead themselves. And so when you think about our Father, this is the faith to faith process, okay? When you think about now the Son, this is where grace to grace transition comes, and then glory to glory comes by the Spirit. Man, I wish I had to I wish I had time to teach that in full today. That's a revelation all by itself. But our God wants to transition us from his deity, from his seat as Father, Son, and Spirit, from faith to faith, that's the Father, from grace to grace, that's the Son, and from glory to glory is the Spirit of God himself. Because of that transition now, God is calling us in this season to make sure that we're in a position, all right? With God, position is not about power for power's sake. With God, position is about an opportunity for him to download from heaven that which belongs to us in the earth. And so you are not limited to titles. You're not limited to, to name and deed and, and, and what men would choose to place upon you. That's not our limitation. We actually have no limitation in the spirit because God is continually and perpetually transitioning us. And for us now as believers, we have the opportunity in this growing of faith to faith, grace to grace, and glory to glory, God is pulling us in. I hope you by the Spirit sense today that pulling, okay? There's a pulling, there's a drawing. Jesus said, no man comes to the Father lest the Spirit draws. And so I, my prayer for you today is pretty simple. 
that the Spirit of God would reveal to you that drawing, that pulling, that sense of him bringing you to himself, whereby now he can position you for the downpour or the download or the outpouring of what he desires to do. It all comes by promise. It all comes by his provision. And so we learned last week on last Sunday at RC, we began to talk quite a bit uh, about the first letter in the acronym of possible. We started talking about the power of pursuit. Your pursuit is a game changer in this season. My question to the, to the team and the family of believers on Sunday morning was very simple. What are you pursuing right now? That question, it's not interrogative with an open end to it. You need to answer that question today. What are you pursuing? Because your pursuit is going to determine your destination. Rechristian Church is a place where destiny is discovered. And because of that, and as a result of that now, we have an opportunity to set our affections on the things that God has called us to. Jesus said himself through the Apostle Paul to the church, he said simply this, set your mind on things above, not things that are beneath and below. He said, what sort of things are pure? What sort of things are righteous? What sort of things are lovely? What sort of things are of a good report? Paul said to the church, think on these things. What does my thinking have to do with my pursuit? Everything. What you choose to pursue, what you set your attention and your affection upon will give you a destination, a course, a direction and a trajectory whereby you can go after the things of God. God will get involved when you set things before him. My Bible clearly says that God can keep those things that we commit to him. So I'm asking you the second question today. Number one, what are you pursuing? Number two, what is the direction of your attention this day? Does your attention line up with that which you desire to pursue? If so, God wants to get involved. He actually will automatically get involved when you set your heart and your affection and your eyes towards him. The Bible says we make plans, but the Lord directs steps. He directs paths. It's his desire to lead us, to guide us, to bump us in the directions that are needed and necessary. Man, that's good, right? And so we're transitioning. Last week, we talked about that word uh, pursue. Talked about it a little bit on Tuesday here on Face to Face. If you miss it, go back and get the archive on Facebook. I promise you it'll bless you. I also want to uh, transition us now because we're kind of leading into this next word. And I don't want to let too much out because my heart is full today. I've been studying this uh, for several weeks now, and we're to the place where we're about to unpack this. There is a revelation that comes by the overcomer's mentality. And I want to peel back the curtain on Sunday morning and show you the mindset of an overcomer. In this year of possible, God has not only given us direction for pursuit, but he has given us an opportunity of a lifetime to be able to walk in an overcomer's reality. Our God has positioned us by his spirit. All we have to do is assume the position, assume the authority that God has given us, and he will cause us to be just that. The Bible says a couple of things. I'm going to break these down in detail on Sunday. Your Bible says that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony, by the word of our testimony. We overcome by the blood of the lamb, number one. Number two, by the word of our testimony. As that reveals itself to us and as it plays out in our lives, now we get the benefit of another scripture. The Bible says we are more than conquerors through him, Christ Jesus, who loved us and gave himself for us. There is a mentality. I don't want to give you the full thing for right now, but I want to whet your appetite for Sunday. There are five realities. There are five characteristics and traits of every overcomer. And God wants to share them with you. He wants you to begin to step into them so that you can get the full benefit of all that he's promised. Amen. I hope this excited you today. I hope no matter what your transition is on this Thursday, as you go into the final piece of your week, as you finish out uh, what you've been called to do and what's on your plate, I pray that you just find that grace today. Find that strength. Find that extra uh, energy in life that comes from joy unspeakable and full of glory. My prayer for you today is really simple, that you would begin to walk in this season that God has called you. This is a year of possible. There's nothing that limits us in this season other than what we believe. Our mindset this whole year has been really simple. We believe, therefore we speak. What are you believing today? What is your pursuit today? And what are you seeking? What are you asking God today specifically to do? He will always meet you at the point of your faith today. And so let's lean in in this season. We don't have time to be passive. We don't have time to lean back in this season. Let's lean in. Let's put a, a front foot forward. Let's put a strong effort uh, of faith into that that God has called us to. And let's believe him for that.
All right? So we're getting ready to close. I hope you I hope you joined us today. I hope this blessed you. I hope this was an encouragement. I want to remind you real quick. Uh, don't forget about what's going on this month. Of course, this Sunday, part two, as we look at this word possible, we're going to break that down, teaching on the word overcome. Also, I want to invite you to join us at the end of this month. We are 30 days away from Genesis 2.20. We are 30 days away from today to Genesis 2.20 experience. The conference this year is called Thrive. We want all couples, all singles, all married alike, we want you to come. I would love for you to be in the room. It's going to be packed, but you can register today. We still have room for you. Go on our app, our RC app, our RC website at ourrecreationchurch.org. Click that picture of my wife and I with the Thrive Conference logo. It'll direct you to a link where you can get registered today. $75 per couple, $40 for singles, and $20 for the private stream. If you want access to watch that, if you can't be with us in person, you can catch that uh, on the Friday night live as well. It's going to be an incredible weekend. It's going to be a game changer. Friday night, September 30th, Saturday, three sessions together, and then Sunday concluding all at the Wesley, 1196 South Lumpkin Street, which is the current home of Recreation Church on Sunday, and we want to see you there. This has been a joy to be with you today. Again, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I know we are to all the football fans. Listen, it's finally here. It's going to be an amazing weekend. Enjoy the fullest, all that God has set for you. Be blessed. Pastor Shannon, I love you dearly. Have a wonderful day, even a better weekend. Hope to see you Sunday. If not,